Welcome to Hidden Gems. This is Arden Thomas, Income Small Talk Product Manager. Hidden Gems is about showing you capabilities of the products that may not be obvious, but we think you should know them. So this month's Hidden Gems is about the next generation user interface, which is used in Object Studio. Object Studio has always been a native Windows UI, meaning the widgets are, are Microsoft Windows widgets. The next generation UI is, is more aligned with letting you get the most out of the Windows native widgets and having more control of them and more flexibility. We're developing a new UI layout tool or painter, and that, that'll make using the, the NG UI as easy as the current UI. However, that's not there yet, but folks needing this capability now it can be done programmatically, so we're going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. First, you want to open up Object Studio, and you load a couple applications. Uh, load application, next generation UI samples. You load applications, of course, right here. And also load system tools. So we'll give you these items right here. So. What you can do now is run some of these examples. Here's one I can send you if you if you email me, athomas at syncom.com. It's called Hello World Controller. I'm going to open it up. This is basically a very simple interface with a field, a button, and it does, as you'd expect, this is this is the the starting point, the hello world. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to browse it. So this is what you would do if you are creating one. It's a subclass of UI abstract controller. I'm going to move to the instance side. Create items is called by the by this opening framework. So here I create the entry field and create the button. So let's take a look at these. Create entry field. Okay, so this is where basically you're setting all the things manually that that a painter will will end up doing for you, but you have a lot of fine grained control here. So we basically are are creating this this widget, giving it its layout, setting its its font and other properties right here. Likewise, the button, a little simpler, mostly the, the layout here. It, it's a PB button, push button, button. The text that you saw was set text, and it creates that. So one other item, PB button clicked, and what I'm going to do is, is basically put hello world into the into the other entry field we created right here named hello world so that is the action and that is basically it not a, not a whole lot but the the basic layout is is manual of course you have more control over it and again you can run that execute it by opening it right here which simply works. So now that you've seen the basics, where can you turn to to get more real-world examples? Well, those are in the, the samples I talked about earlier. If you look at Calendar with Auto Status Bar, you can open that up. And this is what it looks like, a, a, practical, a practical calendar. Another good example is the pie chart with count demo. We open that up. This is what it looks like. Let's look at table names. Let's say account, group on account name and list. So this uses the, the built-in widgets and you can look at all the examples, right click and browse, and you can see exactly how it's set up. Create items and that'll walk you through how it's all all constructed and examples of the properties that it's given. Also, if you turn to the system tools, 
There's a number of tools like Error Lookup, uh, Process Finder, Process Explorer that also use the next generation UI. So I, I, I welcome and suggest you take a look through those, see how they're built. And if you need to start using the next generation user interface, the examples are here. Questions, suggestions, you want the, the Hello World code or anything else, please reach me at athomas at syncom.com. Until next time, have a great time with Smalltalk.